Thousands are gathering on Capitol Hill today to show their support for Israel. Two large-scale demonstrations are planned. Faith Abutbe is in Washington, D.C. with more on that. Faith, what's it like there? Well, Diane, the gates opened just over an hour ago for people to start streaming in here onto the National Mall for this rally, which is expected to be one of the largest pro-Israel rallies that we've seen since the Hamas-Israel war began. You can see people already crowding in front of the stage right there. This event is permitted for up to 60,000 people, but there's a clear understanding here that tens of thousands more will be able to attend this event today. So they're expecting just a massive, massive crowd. Crowd. They will all be gathered here on the National Mall. There are people being bused from all across the country. Jewish communities, synagogues, schools have all charted buses of people, droves of people to come here for this rally. Uh, we've also seen some universities cancel classes in order for those students to be able to attend here. And their goal here is to, of course, show support for Israel as the uh, war with Hamas continues. But also, they want to denounce anti-Semitism. And in addition to that, they'll have families of the hostages who are, who are being held by Hamas right now, calling for them to be freed uh, quickly, immediately, as soon as possible. Uh, in the meantime, though, the Department of Homeland Security has declared this event a level one security event. So this is basically the same type of security uh, designation that you see when it comes to large-scale events like the Super Bowl, for example. It doesn't mean there's any credible, actionable threat to the march specifically here. However, law enforcement agents want to remain vigilant. They want to make sure this is a safe and secure place for people to come come here and express themselves and express support uh, for Israel. In the meantime, though, the pre-program is expected to begin any moment now. And, and then, of course, the actual program begins at 1 o'clock. It will be from 1 o'clock to 3 p.m. We're expecting to hear from activists. We're expecting to hear from celebrities, lawmakers here on Capitol Hill. But also, in addition to that, the family members of those hostages will be here as well, calling for their release. And this, of course, is happening on the heels of that massive pro-Palestine rally that happened right here in D.C. as well. This is in response to that as much as it is a response to the war that is happening. Of course, we expect this event to be very emotional because of the strong ties many here have to that war. Diane. Faith Abube in Washington, D.C. Faith, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.